Hello and welcome to the NK Active podcast. As we already said, this is slightly different this month, but we've had two episodes. So the previous episode was me speaking about the Osaka IDEO hockey shoe and my long-term view and opinion on it. Now is another shoe that I've, been, I've, I've had for quite some time now that I picked up during lockdown, and it is the Hilo um, running V1 shoe. So a bit of an update is that since when we done my last video about my impressions and thoughts of these, Hilo did contact me and ask me to help try and start testing any new products um, that they may have coming through, which I agree because I really like the ethos and the ethics behind this company. So that's a bit of a disclaimer, but I did pay full price for this shoe. Now, most of you will remember that when I first got the Hilo shoe, I spoke about how impressed I was about this as being sort of an eco shoe, in that actually the company puts more carbon, more energy back into the system than it takes out. And these are all made from natural materials. And they can take the shoe and repurpose it and make it into another shoe. And I will put the link to the website and you can have a look at all the materials that go into this shoe and the company are really transparent about what they're trying to do and as I've said before the running shoe industry is it costs a lot of carbon it costs a lot of energy it's not the most environmentally friendly industry because the shoes historically when they were finished end up going into landfill and the one thing I actually I try to do going off topic slightly is actually try to say well we see a lot of patients, obviously in NK Active, we make a lot of footwear recommendations. We see a lot of people with a lot of old shoes or footwear that they need to change for the injury they've currently got. So we look to try and to set up some way of people could donate shoes to us and we could then try and send them out to people who are less fortunate than us in the UK or even people in the UK who can't, who struggle to get footwear. But actually logistically trying to get that organised, it was an absolute nightmare. So if you're listening and you can help us out in trying to find a way that we can try and help recycle shoes and repurpose and re and making giving other people footwear to wear, then please get in contact. So I'd like to try and get involved in something on those lines. So getting back to this shoe. When I first described this shoe, I described it as the naked running shoe. And what I mean by that is a shoe that if I want to go for a run in it, I won't wear my watch. I won't track how far I'm going, how fast I'm going. It's just a shoe that I put on and go. And I still maintain it after having this for six to eight months now, at least. It is a shoe that if I want to run quick and really focus on my running, I won't wear these. I'll stick on a different shoe. But if it's a shoe where I come home from work and I'm like, I just want to go for a run, I want to clear my head, this is the shoe that I stick on. So overall, walking wise, I mean, running wise, I've most probably run, I reckon around about 100 kilometers in this shoe. And I actually use them for everything, for day to day. So I wear them to work. I wear them when I go to the gym. I wear them out and about. So walking wise, I most probably am doing any of the region between 60 to 90,000 steps a week in this shoe so i've done well over a million steps in this shoe and i still find it really really comfortable and to be fair for a shoe that i've run in i've lifted weights in i've trained in i use for work it is actually lasted really really well we can start to see some of the wear patterns occurring on here you can tell i've been using it a lot so if i take the lining out of my shoe so this train i'm about to send back to Hilo because they have a policy of where I can send the shoe back but then they then dismantle the shoe then rebuild it as a brand new shoe and then they credit my account so then I can then go and buy some new ones. So day to day I find it really comfortable to wear. I really like having how light this shoe is. It's incredibly light having that one sole material through the midsole and the really light flexible breathable upper is really helpful and it's just super comfortable to wear all day. Another thing I like is that I've stuck this in the washing machine five, six times now, 
and it's lovely you shove them in the wash machine i've been in the sea with these things i just used everything for them they've just lasted i normally wouldn't go in water with salt water with shoes but these have put let's put them to the test and they have been fabulous and as i say i still do all my running some of my running in these when i just want to clear my head and just go for a run and not really worry about how fast i'm running how far i'm going one of those times we just get up and go so would i still class this as a, an out and that running shoe no i wouldn't i'd class this as more a sort of an athletic type trainer that has multi-purposes so for me at work we wear a lot of sports type uniform at work so these work really well for me for that they're a perfect gym shoe they're just again just like super light super comfortable one thing that i think could be improved slightly and i don't know how it's going to be done because everything on this shoe is eco-friendly is the material the laces are made up sometimes i find the laces come undone so you do them up and then they just the knots just don't stick as well as normal laces but that's really the only thing that i can pick holes in it for so would i buy this shoe if i wanted to really work on my running and do lots of running in them no i wouldn't would i buy this shoe if i enjoy going for a jog every now and then don't really worry what i'm doing want to use it as a training shoe gym shoe i think it's absolutely perfect for that and you're doing your bit for the planet so overall really happy with these the fit on them is really good nice and wide nice flexible material up top and yeah overall it's a, it's a really really nice nice shoe and i'm happy happy with it and i'll happily continue wearing these well these ones i won't as i said these are going to go back to um to get a new pair but hopefully that was helpful obviously please do subscribe subscribe to the nk active podcast and if you have any questions or queries please do let me know see you next month bye